Commander, things have been a little wild here at home base. Literally. Animals keep attacking our survivors. I've been trying to get everyone to agree on a game plan to handle them, but no one can agree on anything anymore, apparently. Well, that's not true. The entire home base message board is getting super into authoritarianism. Upsettingly so. We all agree not to talk about that and to just close our eyes and to hope it goes away. Since my plan isn't getting traction, does anyone else have any ideas? As I've always said, when life hands you chickens, make lemonade and nuggets. That is not a bad idea. The only thing that unites home base more than things we're not talking about is Dennis's cooking. Commander, can you help stock up Dennis's kitchen? This zone is about to get clobbered by a monster squall. We've got 20 minutes to evacuate the survivors. Good luck. for the poor animals. Not that I'm a vegetarian, I just prefer to not think about how those nuggets get onto my plate. I never figured you for a nug kill. I'm not a nug kill, Dennis. I just think that maybe we're being a bit cavalier. I'm going to look that up, and if it's not nice, I'm putting you on the nugget enemies list. Fine, then I'll put you on the weird creepo list. Stop threatening to put each other on lists. This isn't the message board. Survivor in danger! Hi, Commander. You 
should take out some husks. And you should do a really good job. And you should not make eye contact with the Major for a while. Possibly, maybe never again. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Thank Keep you. up the good work. Thank you. I was getting worried. I know it's a lot to ask. I really can't leave without it. It's somewhere nearby. Check your map for the location of the medkit.
situation with straight. I can if can. I can if Penny can. You know logic loops break my brain. Brain, 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 brain. See? Did I hear the dulcet tones of discord? What do you want, Cloak Star? It would delight me to eliminate these fuzzballs for you. Could you please use a less cute word? No. In fact, I will now call them fuzzle cuties. Now leave me to the coal. Terrible form. Hurry! Good save. Incoming! Survivor in danger.
that's incredible. Oh, you make it. Fighting is part of the natural order. They definitely eat each other. I saw a chicken wearing a cloak, and it changed me. Enough! Huh. Usually there's like a moralizing follow-up after you snap at us. Because I am three exasperated size past give-up time with no Sandy.
minutes before I have to pull you out. Dennis? You okay in there, bud? There is no Dennis. There is only Feral Fang the Untethered. Fine, sure. We've done it. This helmet will allow Dennis to speak with the noble voice of nature. I sense I have found a new nemesis in this scary chicken. I am no chicken, foolish human. I am a wolf. Wolves know how to work together. Ask him about pack dynamics. No, duel him. Mr. Untethered! Humanity is a mess, so we come asking for your help. You just eliminated, like, a bunch of us. Well, you've been eliminating, like, a bunch of us, too. And you did it first. How about this? We stop eliminating each other, and you teach us about the wolves. Specifically, how you all seem to be on the same page all the time. Because if these humans don't stop fighting with each other, I am going to fight them. And it's going to get weird. And sad. You make a fair point, metal chicken. I already know that's an insult. For a ceasefire, we will do this. But you must yield to our demands. First, you must bring snacks. Great. You can uh, take the helmet off now, Dennis. Dennis. 
This flesh man will be our collateral, as you say. The helmet will come off when the animals are appeased. Our ambassador is on the way. Bring snacks! It seems the Furry Piper has finally come to collect on humanity's debt. The hirsute whirlwind has been reaped from mankind's sowings. Ask not for whom the furball tolls. Most days I don't have to ask this, but uh, you're human, right? Yeah, no. Yeah, well, you know what, kind of. <laughs> well, I was raised by wolves, so. I'm Gia, I'm the wolf ambassador to humankind. I'm here for the snack tribute. I mean, the rest of the pack, they're here for revenge. <laughs> but more on that um, later. And to speak for those who cannot speak for themselves. With the exception of incidents involving humans experimenting on their own brains. No offense. Okay. Well, uh, question one. Why were the wolves attacking us? That's classified. I mean, until you bring us snacks. into the llama. This zone is about to get clobbered by a monster squall. We've got 20 minutes to evacuate. Good luck.
the wolves and raptors seem to prefer meat. Try mushrooms or corn for the boars. So I, uh, I couldn't help but notice that your attacks on home base were very organized. How do your wolves cooperate so well? Is there a complex social order based on pack hierarchy? Are you all working alone like vigilantes, but very, very close to each other? Obviously they're not doing that, you daft dishrag. You probably don't have even one utility cape. Mostly we are talking to each other. Communication! The pillar of strong leadership! Thank you, Uncle Feral Fang. Mm -hmm. When talking doesn't work, well, talking always works. Um, that, but talking's usually just a way to get the arguments rolling. Are you taking personal accountability and using I statements? Uh, we are. I am. We're just gonna snack, okay? Were in the Forsaken. Well, he's got a nut allergy. Do we know? Wow, you guys really care about each other. We do, because we're a team. Don't all teams do that? Oh, yeah, totally. Everyone over here, we're, 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 we're good. Don't worry, boss. I got him. Wow. Totally, totally good. Save him up.
Thank you. I was getting worried. I know it's a lot to ask. I really can't leave without it. It's somewhere nearby. Check your map for the location of the medkit. so long, Gia. Uh, <laughs> the same way you guys have, right? Community reconstruction initiative, right? Eco friendly farming? Fair of love? And friendship? Yeah, fascinating. So you're saying my parents would work? Well, I guess. What about the rules? Rebels without a cause, serving justice as they see fit. Uh, uh what about them? They're really cool, right? Let's focus on the feeding frenzy at hand, shall we? Hey, just getting kind of the beginnings of a thought uh, that your group might have a communication problem. What? No. <laughs> we're, we're good. We're so on the same page, we're practically a pamphlet. Instead of a book which has many pages. I would love to see a book someday. Can you imagine holding eight meat paintings worth of knowledge you. in your hand? I was Wolves communicate via meat painting. Oh, that is gross off. and beautiful. Really <laughs> Gia. Ah, thanks. Check your map for the location of the med kit.
what? I've given it some thought. I have met wolves with bad communication skills. Might snap the irrationals pack. Our neighbors when I was in wolf elementary school. Ugh. What happened to them? Oh, they ate each other. Oh, did they all eat each other? Uh, probably pretty slowly. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a doctor, so. Okay, cool, normal, good, great. Oh, this food looks a bit green. Oh, oh, he ate it anyway. Never mind. me to deliver the following message. Ahem. Sir, dear Major Oswald, sir, we the soldiers of home base are very afraid of you. That's fine. And we are now in hiding. Please consider chilling out. Dictated but not read, frightened soldiers. So... So what? Do you have any thoughts you'd like to share with the soldiers at this time? Yes. Get out there and fight! Now!
Here it comes. 30 seconds left. fighting we call it whatever you call it stand up for yourself man i am too nervous to stand up for myself then calm down dummy kind of hard at the moment close your eyes and visualize a pleasant clearing in the woods do i have to yes i do it right babbling brook sparrows clover maybe some deer uh-huh why aren't you calm yet yeah, who knows why this isn't working. Run to safety, Dennis. There's no such thing as safety. I know, but just run! I can do that! We fed all the wolves, and learned valuable communication skills. Right, home base team? Get out of my way. I think I can pry the helmet off. A man's helm is his mystique. Dennis would want it this way. The humans have attempted to free our collateral flesh man. Alert the wilderness! Alert them all! Ah, uh, you guys are in trouble now. Oh, come on! Okay, so, they have alerted uh, the wilderness. Sounds like you're about to smear some problem butter on my whole situation, dog lady. Basically, you backed out on a deal with the animals, so now, uh, well, they seek retribution. Yep, that's a problem. I mean, I would suggest going on maybe like a little press tour. You could shake some paws, you could kiss some eggs, you could show them why humanity is better than the worst, actually. Is that why the wolves were attacking home base? You thought we were the worst, actually? That's still classified. And humans are not the worst. I mean, I'm beginning to think they might crack the top five. Tame the animals, and they'll know you come in peace.
Lars is standing by to gather storm intel, Commander. Let's launch that van. Fill her up if you'd be so kind. I need to get back up in those clouds. We're headed your way. Make sure to collect any blue glow you see. This is your chief boar speaking. Kindly proceed to your nearest mud pile and prepare for merciless goring by Tusk. We are not your enemy. Unless... We are not your enemy. Really? Because those dusty old flea bags told me otherwise. Wolf culture is steeped in honor and tradition. Oh, Gia's there. Oh, sorry, kiddo. You know everyone from Hogslop's a little rough oh. around the edges. You're from Hogslop? Yeah, and before you ask, yes, it's very literal. They're clear, Jerry. They brought snacks. Snacks? Okay, I'll call off the hogs. There we go. That's the perfect spot. Okay, Commander, the name of the game is Antennas. Don't do it again. Sorry, what now? Introduce the mission properly. Okay. Commander, our signals have been spotty lately, and, uh... What are you, writing a novel over there? Commander, deploy Antennas. You couldn't do that the first time? Apparently, I could not. into animal behavior. Gia, you must come to home base to talk to us as soon as this accidental war is taken care of. Wait, sorry. You'd really let me visit. I'm a wolf. Could I? It'd be fine as long as you don't touch my stuff. I'm dying a bit full of t-shirts right now. Finally, we agree on something. Good luck with your tie-dye, Clegstar. It's black dye, obviously.
latest flock of problems? Gia, any idea what the chickens will do to us? Uh, it's, uh, it's hard to say. I mean, when it comes to chickens, the coop warmer is on, but there's nobody in the roost. Corn! Chicken is need corn for eating and chicken science. Ah, uh, you've got corn. It's right there. Corn! Surrender! Corn! That was easy. Sometimes they want corn. Sometimes they want farming magazines. Over here! You know, for the glamorous chicken pictures. Thank you. to prepare for liftoff. play. Thank <laughs> you. 
go. Good job, team! <laughs> 
Float well, Lars. I think you've successfully held off retribution. Now for phase two. There's a phase two. You know what? I think we're fine with getting mauled at this point. Isn't saving humanity your whole deal? Well, you guys are making yourselves pretty darn hard to save when all you do is bicker. These animals united under a common purpose after one call from one. Have you tried giving them snacks? You're right, Ray. We have more to learn from these animals. That's not what I said. Yeah, Ray said we should eliminate them all under cover of night. Gia, sometimes it feels like you're the only level-headed human I know. Well, I mean, I'm only part human. We have come so far together, humans. I guess it's time to come clean about why us wolves were attacking you. So, <clears throat> we've been experiencing wolf abductions for several weeks, and we attacked your den because we thought you were responsible. But we'd never do that. We might do that. Yeah, we might do that, but we didn't. Are you sure it wasn't the husks attacking? I'm not sure, because wolves do actually have a really hard time differentiating the two of you. The inelegant shuffling, your groans, your repulsive proclivity for bipedal travel. Plus, they're all squishy and full of goo. Exactly. See? Hey. Hey! <laughs> Metal chicken! Take us to these other humans, these husks, and eliminate them. Get ready to run with the wolves! Once you tame a wild beast, they'll have your back in battle. Try it out!
Lars is standing by to gather storm intel, Commander. Let's launch that van. Fill her up if you'd be so kind. I need to get back up in those clouds. We're headed your way. Make sure to collect any blue glow you see. You guys don't make your clothes out of me. You'd have to ask my outerwear designer, the Cloak Master. The zigzag stitch he used on my latest cowl was masterful. I want to see what a zigzag stitch is. Silence my beautiful human niece. All garments must be made in the traditional fashion. No exceptions. <laughs>
job, Commander. You saved my life. Thanks. are so fascinating. She means gross. I meant fascinating, which is what I said. I, on the other hand, think wolf names are depraved, but in a good way. Are you guys trying to pick the pettiest possible arguments?
we've got a bonus in play. You? I found one of your action figures. Well, the pleasure is all yours. Yeah, it was like a little teeny tiny version of you, covered in mud down by a uh, garbage stream river. I mean, garbage stream could be a total mistranslation. I doubt that very much. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, okay, how about maybe stream for the deposit of discarded, worthless items? Is that closer? Maybe we should focus on building defenses for the husks incoming. I agree with Metal Chicken. This is awkward. Thirty seconds left to go.
30 seconds left to go. Okay, you've reached a peaceful arrangement with the wild, and I gotta say, uh, I'm impressed. Is phase two over? Are we at peace? Can Dennis take the helmet off now? Give the animals a moment to confer. Uh, okay. The animals have conferred. After serious debate and consideration. No. Come on. Those were not our primary abductors. We require your further assistance, Metal Chicken. Plus the other animals, they're gonna want a little make good, so to speak, you know what I mean? All of them? You will hear from our most honorable delegation of boars. Soon. Metal chicken, miscellaneous yelling humans. I am still very aware that's an insult. I'll cut right to it. Us boars are usually pretty good at finding stuff. But with your human knowledge of construction and demolition, I think we could be even better. We want to see what peak performance looks like from a schnoz-sniffing perspective. Who knows? With your tools, I could even find my lost keys in Hog Slop's famous slop pit. So, you're saying you'd be able to find stuff better if you understood human building layouts? And by stuff, you mean loot? <gasps> Humans love loot. Okay, yeah, it's a win-win. Oh, construction's my area of expertise, so how can I be of service? First up, befriend a boar. Then together, we find stuff.
Lars is standing by to gather storm intel, Commander. Let's launch that van. Fill her up if you'd be so kind. I need to get back up in those clouds. We're headed your way. Make sure to collect any blue glow you see. Thank you.
Jerry, are you still using this flesh puppet's helmet? Sure am. What's on your mind, kiddo? Do you see me as more like human or a uh, wolf? You're kind of both, aren't you? Uh, yeah, but like, if you had to pick. Nah, you're both a human wolf. Like a wolf. Huh. Guess you're right. Yes, Reggie! Look at that fine! My man here was Little Mr. Scent Tracker at the Hog Slop Hoedown, three years running. Surprisingly, a good idea. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. play.
play.
With the local building schematics and that cup of Sinus Blast Honey Lemon Tea, and sticking to the ominous cover of Shadow, you'll be sniffing out whoever abducted those wolves in record time. Hey, that's great news. We're about to shuffle our truffle snuffles to the next level. Uh, level. I, I meant level. The boys are hot on the trail of our wily wolf abductor. It's... <laughs> oh, oh no. Was that a dinosaur? That's not just a dinosaur. That's a dinosaur queen. Ooh, did she wear tiny little gloves and give horrific little waves? That is just adorable. Ah, 
But yes, this is a problem, and I will focus on that, and not her presumably adorable dino crown. Hello, Ray, Penny, Dennis, Gia, man with the weird hat. It's Cloak Star. You know Gia's name and not mine. So, you figured out my nefarious plan. <laughs> Have we? You've put a saddle on the Queen of the Dinosaurs. Needless to say, we're a bit lost. So you haven't figured out my nefarious plan. To open a doggy daycare. <laughs> what in the dark skies above is this man talking about? You see, things get a bit quiet when the holidays wrap up. And you all know I don't do well with quiet. I need noise, chaos, fiscal stability. This whole thing happened because you stole wolves to populate your doggy daycare? Little did I know, raptors paid way better. Now I've got these little guys tamed just right. Let me demonstrate by placing my juicy head meat in its razor sharp, perfectly obedient mouth. Ah! 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 Finally, Christmas's greatest fool is subdued. Oh, trust me, this will only make him stronger. Now, you serve me. And you are? That's Her Highness Queen Bethany Raptoria III, sharp of wit and talent, ruler of the Southern Cliffs. Gia, you and your little human friends are going to help me eliminate our mist monsters. Now!